God's word is so precious. I, I believe I, I believe it's a scripture that say the word of the Lord was was precious in those days. I believe it was, I believe it's I believe it's scripture say that. Let, let me get that. Hallelujah. God's word is so precious to me. I believe it's scripture that say that. I'm sitting up here thanking the Lord for his word and teaching me his word. The word of the Lord was precious in those days. Oh, glory to God. Samuel 3 and 1. Samuel 3 and 1. Praise God. God's word is precious. Hallelujah. You know when you have something precious, you value it and you and you hold on to it. And you cherish it. And you take it to heart. And you make sure you don't lose it. Make sure you don't mishandle it. You pay attention to it. I got today. Samuel for, for, for the last five or ten minutes, I've been thanking the Lord for his word. His word. I've been thanking the Lord. And this scripture was not in mind, <laughs> but the Holy Ghost brought it to my attention. Just when I started this video, the Holy Ghost brought it to my attention. Give me 1 Samuel 3 and 1. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory the Lord is precious. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory. First Samuel 3 and 1. Hallelujah. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. And there was no clear vision. That said a lot there. That there was no clear vision. Ha! Let, let me look. Uh, let me let me look at. Let me look at it. I, 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 I'm, yeah. No clear vision. Ah. Hallelujah. Samuel three. And we say there was no open vision. There was no open vision. Uh, let's look at First Samuel two eleven and eighteen. I got, I got an idea of what they're talking about. Two and eleven. First Samuel two and eleven. I won't look at that. It say there was no open vision. Woo! Hey, 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 hey. I got an idea what they're talking about. I want to just double check. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Elkanah went to Ramah in his house, and the child did minister to the Lord before Eli. Now the son of Eli was son of Belial. Belial, they knew not the Lord. The preacher's son don't know the Lord. That first time two and verse twelve. Hallelujah. Uh, 
I will go down to 211, go down to 13. If they were taking, not taking their portion of the tithing and offering, the sacrifices, they were taking more than a portion. And if a member said be correct, they got more than they portion, and if you didn't give it up, they took it from you forcefully. And glory to God. The second, second chapter. And read on, it was started verse 12, read on down verse 16. They'll take it by force. We want our portion of your portion too. Glory to God. There, the word of the Lord was precious. There was no open vision, no prophecy. No, no, no. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. No, no prophecy going forth. Remember, Eli's boy was in charge. They weren't keeping the commandments of the Lord. The, the Bible said that where there is no vision, the people perish. Well, Lord, we better get that. I didn't mean to be doing all that God knows. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> where there is no vision, the people perish. According to churchofjesuschrist.org, Proverbs chapter 29. When the wicked rule, the people mourn. The righteous consider the cause of the poor. A fool speaks all that is in his mind. Where there is no vision, the people perish. One he. Proverbs 29, 18. No vision. The vision of the Lord. Another verse told uh, the prophet, God told the prophet to write the vision. In God's vision, Not right to read it. We're talking about the prophecy about Jesus Christ coming and the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now the vision where the people perish. Hallelujah. That vision is they, they don't have no vision. That means they not keep the commandments of the Lord. One verse will say my people perish for the lack of knowledge. There was no open vision. Let's go back to Samuel. Woo! My God, today I wasn't planning on doing it, but God knows. Hey, 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 hey. I thank God. Hallelujah. For his word, for teaching me his word. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Go back first time you too. I want to see. I want to show you where the vision start coming, where, where the word of the Lord starts speaking through the prophet Samuel. Go back Samuel two. First, I mean three. First Samuel three. I'm sorry. First Samuel three. And the child Samuel ministered to the Lord. Verse one before Eli. The word of the law was precious in those days. There was no open vision. We had to hold to the word of the Lord that the Lord had already gave. We had to hold to that. Watch this. And it came to pass at that time when he I would lay down in place, he I began to whack dim that he could not see. And er, the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord and the ark, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. The lamp is talking about the physical lamp in the temple that was kept uh kept blazed or kept lit with olive oil. Y'all better go and read. <laughs> it gone out. And Samuel laid down to sleep and Lord here can come the vision now. 
And the Lord called Samuel. God was talking about Eli and his boy. And, and the Lord called Samuel. He said, here I am. And uh, 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 run on down there. Hallelujah. And let's see the vision. Let's see God's word. Verse 10. Here's the vision coming down. And the Lord came and stood and called his other time. Samuel, Samuel, when Samuel answered, speak thy servant here. The Lord said to Samuel, I will do a thing in Israel at which both the ears of everyone that hear itself tingle. That bad news. I'm going to kill Eli and his boy. Now, now you read that. I'll read the very next verse 11. Verse 12. Verse 13, verse 14, verse 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, huh? 21. Glory to God. I was just thanking God for. Showing me his word. Hey, hey, both places, hey, it church, it, it church, the majority of church ain't no open vision. Ain't no word from the Lord coming for. Call these jokers just like Eli, just like Eli, his boy. They evil. They ain't keeping the commandments of God. Ain't no open vision. They tell you to sin. They tell you ain't nobody out sin. They tell you that God still requires tithes and offerings. Although Jesus have came, you still owe God's own time. They tell you Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. Ain't no open vision. Mostly. But I thank God for giving me his word. I was just thanking God tonight for teaching me his word. Teach Jesus taught me his word. Yeah, yeah. Through the preachers. Through his servants. But a lot of Jesus word did, did, did not one servant taught me. Not one preacher taught me. But Jesus taught me himself. When I opened up this Bible and read. And this saying what the pastor won't say. I thank God for his word. His word is precious. I thank God for teaching me his word. I can't be deceived. The Bible says, well, Papa, they are the very elect. elect. It ain't popular to, to deceive God's elect. That's not possible. That's impossible. It's an everywhere possible. Thank God for his word. Thank God for teaching me his word. It don't matter what church God in Christ say, Baptist, Methodist, your bishop, my baby, though, it don't be, it, what they say don't matter to a hill of me. It's what God's word say, nevertheless, at thy word. Thank God for teaching me his word. His word is precious to me. I value it. I treasure it. I hold to it. His word is precious to me. And I thank God for teaching me his word. God bless you. Thank you for that.